Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. We are back with another wig install and today's wig is from Unice Hair. As you guys can see, I went blonde today, okay? I went ash blonde. This is something that is so new to me, but I don't think it came out too bad. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But anyways, this is Unice's hair. Very trendy, pre-everything wig. And the pre-everything by Unice Hair is not new to my channel. However, we have it this time in an ash blonde color. So just like always, I'm giving you guys an unboxing because Unice likes to send a lot of goodies along with the wig unit in itself, okay? But let's talk about this pre-everything wig. So as you guys can see, it is an ash blonde color. I believe I have it in 24 inches and this is 150% density. Now, as far as this pre-everything thing, <laughs> this wig basically comes pre-cut for you. It comes pre-plucked for you. Um, the knots are taken care of for you. So if there's any bleaching that needs to be done, they take care of it for you. It also comes with these ear tape adhesives that way you can actually have a glueless wig install even though this is a full ear to ear lace frontal so it gives you the convenience of installing your wig quickly just like a lace closure would however you have a lace frontal with this one we'll talk more about that when it comes time to use the tape but basically this is like a put on and go type of wig where you don't have to use any type of glue or anything like that to lay the lace down so I'm just making sure the wig is comfortable on me. The wig cap was a little loose, but if you have to tighten it, you can use that elastic band just like I did. So first things first, I'm gonna use my wax stick and my comb to get all of the hair away from the lace. That way I can see what she is truly looking like. I do appreciate the fact that the lace is cut in like an s shape zigzag motion. That way it's not too blunt and it doesn't look too noticeable, which is great. And I also appreciated the fact that the lace was pre-plucked as well. This lace is a little transparent, but because we are going blonde today, it's actually not noticeable noticeable at all so that's a plus one as well. Okay, so let's get ready to lay this lace down. So again, we are going to use this ear tape adhesive that they already put on the lace for you. Peel off that blue strip, and basically what you do is you just stick it onto your skin, you guys. It's a double-sided tape, so one side sticks to the lace, one side sticks to your skin. Now, I don't really know which wig cap size they sent me, but she was a little loose even with me using the ear tape adhesive. So I will be going in with some lace melting spray because I needed a little bit more security. The lace melting spray that I use is not glue, it's literally just another adhesive if you've been watching my wig tutorials you know that I never use glue at all so this spray definitely helps me out a lot all I needed was just a little bit I just dabbed it on the edge of the lace and I was good to go so now I'm gonna use my elastic band and I'm gonna let the lace melt underneath this elastic band for like a good 20 minutes I believe I left it on once I took it off I went in with some more foundation and dabbed her at the edge of that lace just to make sure everything was blended in nicely. Be careful with how much makeup you use by the way. Remember this is an ash blonde color so try to avoid getting a lot of makeup on the hair overall. Try to make it look as natural as you can okay. But the final result wasn't too bad at all. She was looking pretty good. So now I'm going to go in with my wax stick and my hot comb just to ensure that the top of the wig is laying as flat as possible. I also want to make sure no baby hairs of mine are showing because my hairline comes out pretty far and I also covered up my sideburns etc. Now pay attention to how I am parting this wig you guys because I'm also showing you that you can do a side part if you choose to. This is a 13 by 4 so she goes ear to ear and she goes 4 inches back so if you want to do a side part you can. So right here, I'm just adding a little bit more foundation to the center part. 
Okay, so this is what the lace is looking like. It's looking pretty natural. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Even in person, it was looking pretty good as well. So I did curl one side off camera, and as usual, I'm gonna show you guys what I did to the other side. The only thing that I did not show you guys on camera was the fact that I did cut just a little bit of layers because I didn't want this wig looking too flat. I just had a feeling I wasn't gonna like it if I didn't add layers in it, so I added some layers off camera. So as usual, I'm going in with my holding spray and my curling wand, and we are going to add some curls to this baby. Now, as far as the quality of the hair, I didn't particularly have issues. She definitely had shedding, but it was more so on the minimal side. I didn't have any crazy tangling or anything like that. I also did not have a crazy smell in this wig. And um, to the touch, she was pretty soft. It wasn't too rough or anything like that, even with this being a blonde color. So the quality of the hair was great, and I do feel like the lace was great as well. Normally, the lace looks very transparent on me with these pre-everything wigs, but I think because this is an ash blonde wig color and the roots are very light, everything seemed to work out perfectly. But as you guys can see, I'm just running my fingers through these curls. I just continue to play with it until I got it exactly how I wanted it to look. 